why did uh, Israel let go of uh, the Sinwar? You, he was in your prisons. Because the Gilad Shalit deal, speaking of hostages, we had a, a soldier that was kidnapped and we released about 1,000 terrorists. Now we, un we know already, we understand, and we will do things differently. Why did uh, Israel let go of uh, the Sinwar? You, he was in your prisons. Because the Gilad Shalit deal, speaking of hostages, we had a, a soldier that was kidnapped and we released about 1,000 terrorists, including Sinwar. Sinwar was also probably on our targets a few times. And because we were not in a situation of war and because there were maybe uh, people around him that we didn't want to harm, uh, so uh, we didn't take action. Uh, but now we have to... Look, again, no one expected that October 7 will happen. Okay. If we would have done, known that uh, this is in the cards, in this level of penetration, of course, that, you know... Uh, we call it the Americans call it the Monday morning quarterback. Of course, retrospectively, in hindsight, yeah. in hindsight yeah. respo retros retrospectively, we would have done things differently. Mm. But now we un we know already, we understand, and we will do things differently. And the first thing is the security of the people of Israel and making sure it will not happen again and bringing back the the hostages. These are the two concerns. Hostages are very important because beyond the fact that there are children there and people until from one was nine months when he was kidnapped and uh, the oldest were in late eight, 80s. Beyond that, it's part of the cohesiveness of the Jew Jewish uh, society. So There have been so many rounds of negotiations, their countries mediating. In the current scenario, as we sit today on this date, who are the countries that are helping the mediation process? So it's mainly Qatar, United States, Qatar, Egypt. Hmm. Uh, these are the main, Turkey is also involved somewhere there, so these are the main countries that are going between. The, you know, it has to be countries who have some ability to leverage mm -hmm. Hamas. At the end of the day, you have a terror organization. It's very hard who has the leverage over them in order right. to make them do something. Now, I'm glad that you <clears throat> took the name of Qatar. Yesterday, uh, your prime minister's son uh, in, in America essentially blamed Qatar and I'm quoting Israeli outlets, mm -hmm. blamed Qatar in their role for promoting terrorism and all. Doesn't this vitiate the mediation process? Look, at the end of the day, you, the leaders of Hamas, many of them are living in Qatar. Qatar has uh, power over them. Right. At the end of the day, now we are looking at a tactical move in order to reach some kind of a deal that will enable release of hostages and ceasefire, mm -hmm. uh, limited time ceasefire. So... You know, at the end of the, do, uh, the day, uh, you need ha Qatar there because they have some leverage over Hamas.